welcome all of you nana here and then uh, today we are going to see a sales order import in fusion actually so let me go there and I'll share my screen now <clears throat> so i already have one file that is not exactly working so what i'm going to do is i will not use another file actually you know go there so i will not use another file for doing it now fine i will not go to the sales order import and here i have a one vision import directory in there. so let me open it up fine i will not open up the vision import directory so here we have one sales order import template so this one i am going to use now fine this one let me try via this template now because uh, that was giving some issues now fine whatever i have downloaded from the uh, from the docs.org.com is now giving some issues so i am going to use this so what i do is i go there i will now first of all open up one more directory go back one level so we have this now right so uh, if you go to the sales order import directory so we have one uh, what's called your sales or import details has been made fine for that one fine. i'll now open up the sales order import it is fine double click on it i am now opening it up so this details i am going to populate on this so i have not done it for abc application software all these things i have done now so this one i am going to upload on this one. so i will now first go to the first one now fine with the new order header so it is not 2001 so let me make it as 3001 3001 is the one so 3001 is the one and go back on it uh there is a check performance is coming at the top fine go there click on it and then uh, close it now fine there is no need to check anything about. so 3001 3001 we go there so there is a vision customer i will now replace it with my customer right take copy paste i will now replace it with my customer actually we go for that <clears throat> with a vision customer i have now replacing it with my customer actually this is a ready made template so i am now replacing it with my details actually so is usd is okay and go that one everything is okay so here what happens is now seeing some very past date actually so transaction on i will now make it as what uh, 05 which is i don't know which is a month and then which is a uh, date actually so i will now put 0505 and then uh, some 2024 2024 so i am now putting the date as what 5524 5, sometimes all the month and i am not very sure about it so it is a 6 am fine is a transaction in brief at 6 am doing it now transaction on so 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 us one business unit is okay because i am also having the same one only so the requesting business unit is us one so i am not keeping it as such no fine so i am not modifying it go there go for that uh, nana's import one i am not doing it no fine it's okay nana's import comment is there and then the legal entity is also what it is a us one legal entity so that is also okay fine i am not modifying it i am like one more okay on it so go there so i am not leaving all the no no fees uh, shipping charges all the things no 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 fine i am not keeping it as no only let it be as such. Fine. The shipment flag is now submit flag. So as soon as you import it, what happens? It will be submitting it for processing actually. So there is yes actually. Go for that. Go for that. Go for that. Fine. I think is that. Go there. I will not give a commit. No. Fine. Come, let's come. So whenever you make any tab region, what happens? You save it now. Go to the next second tab region. In the second tab region, I will not come to the home now. Fine. It is 3001. Go there. So it is 111 everywhere now. Fine. It's okay. It's okay. The product identifier. The product number is A6500. It's also okay. <coughs> go for that. And then ordered quantity is eight is okay, fine. And then the unit submitter is each, fine, EA. So that's okay. So here, what happens? I have a, a this is the one, and then the unit submitter is EA, fine, it's okay. It's okay, fine. Order unit amount is okay, fine. Ordered unit submitter is EA. <clears throat> Sometimes what happens, it will be asking on the code actually. Uh, somewhere you had to give me the code, and then somewhere the ordered UM, fine, I'm not giving it. If it gives the error, then we'll not put this on the code actually. Go for that, go for that, go for that, go for that. It's again, US business unit is okay, fine. Requisitioning business unit identifier is now asking for now. Uh, requisitioning business unit name, I will not give it no fine for that. I will not take a copy of the requisitioning business unit name. I will go there, I will not populate this one. I'm not putting it now. Substitute allowed is okay, fine, go that. I will not go further, 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 further. I'm not playing up. There are so many fields which you can fill, no fine. Requested ship date. <clears throat> It's 5 5 2024. Okay, fine. So we had to ship it at 1722 on 5 5. It's okay. Fine. That is okay. That's <clears throat> uh, okay. So click on it. The payment terms is coming. Fine. And then the transaction, it is basically an order. It is not a return. Now. Fine. We have even a return uh, order also can be created by this. No, fine. Can my there is an order now. Go for that. Go for that. So the inventory organization code is 001. Fine. From that, we are going to do it. Now, fine. With the apostrophe, we are given. Now, fine. It is basically text format and so what happens to put the number and i'm putting a apostrophe zero zero one now okay now organization name is not given so you'll we'll not see where exactly the error is coming from going going further 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 nothing else has a problem actually <coughs> go further 
So there are so many fields there on the second tab region. And fill up all the relevant fields and then try to what happens enrich the database. Give a whole note and then give a comment. So the second tab region is not safe. Now we'll go to the third tab region. The third tab region I will not put what is the 3001, 3001. Then give a tab. Now is also 3001. So 3001 is the one point one one ship to first line is the ship to actually. In the ship to is a vision customer. I will not change it to what my customer. I will not put the ABC application software. Go there. I will not paste the ABC application software. I will come on. Here also, what happens? I will not paste this to right? ABC application software. In the build to what happens? The customer name has to be given. Not given. Not. So these two are given. Not given. Not given. Go further. Not given. Further. So here, what happens? You are having a party site identifier. So let me change it. Not given. Five seventy four and five seventy six. Fine. I think I have done it. Not given. Yeah, I have not done it actually. So the first line is a shift to and I will not take a copy of it. Okay? So it is a 514 actually. So go there and then paste it now. It is not entering 514. And then this is a basically a build to. Fine. This is for the build to. I will not take a copy of the build to. No, fine. Take off it and then put on the build to. And that's it. Okay? So these two things are given. Fine. Give us commit. Fine. Save. I'm not saving it. So click on it. And then we will not go further, further, further. And then there will be nothing is required actually. So all the three tab regions are now filled up with the. Uh, the ready made data fine. This template, I think it has to work now, fine. Because the other templates are giving error actually. Fine. So give a home now. Everything is done fine. So give a commit. And then having done everything, what happens? If you come to the main instructions and CS fields and then we'll not create a generate. Is the 3001 fine? Click on the generate CS file. We'll not go there. <laughs> we're not going to generate a CS file. We'll not go there. Go to the place. And then we'll not go to a directory now. And then go to this place. I will not open the sales order import directory. So here I will not say, sir, what? Import 3001. Import. 3001 is the one. Import 3001 is the one. Fine, click on save now. So we are now saving it now. <laughs> There's no doubt. So the CSP file is now saved now. Fine, click on OK. And then I will now close it without saving it. Now I say don't save. When you're closing this file, what happens here? Before which, before importing it, before generating the file, you have to save it. And then after generating it, you should not save it. Now, no doubt. now what happens? We'll now go into the system and then we'll now perform the import. Import. So here I will now. Go into the system now. Fine. You click on the star icon, and then I have already kept the monitor process. I have not done it. I have to give it. I will not go to the tools. <clears throat> I will not go to the tools. And then go to the scheduled process, and then add it to the favorite sector. Scheduled process. So that what happens? There. We can frequently use it actually. And go to the thing star, and then go to the favorites, and then add to the favorites monitor process so that it can very easily come out. Right? Click on submit a new process now. Fine. It's called load interface file. Load INT is the one. Thank you, Adam. Load interface file is the one. So it is a load interface file for import. No, thank you. And then it will be first brought into the UCM area. So the UCM area, fine, drop it on. If the import sales order is the UCM area. So we will now bring the data, first of all, into the UCM area, and then from that to the interface tables. No, thank you, Adam. In one go. So both of them will be done in one go. go there. It is import, fine. And then if you give a small letter, it will not work. Fine. It is a Baker search, actually, fine. If you try to search, it will not come at all. Fine. Yes, is a capital one. I don't know why they have made this such as case sensitive actually. If you make it as a capital, it will not search. <clears throat> Go there. Switch it. So click on it. And then afterwards, we will not populate our file. So the pi for upload of file now, fine. The 3000 file I'm going to choose now. Fine. Click on it. I will not go back one level. <clears throat> I will not choose what? The sales order import now. And then choose this now. Fine. The 3001 I'm going to choose. I'm choosing it. Fine. Click on OK. So this will not be brought into the interface tables. So first to the UCM area and then to the interface table. So both of them in one go by load. Right? Click on submit. The load interface will now bring both of them into one go. Now five files will be running actually. <clears throat> so if you go to the search, you know, find search. I will now search by SCM10 actually. Off, you can give it and then click on search, you know, find search. It will now show you only whatever we are doing. It. So it's not a, So five concurrence will be running. Fine, So there will be five concurrence will be running. So once when all things are getting content, so three for the three sheets which are done now, fine. The remaining sheets have been made empty now, fine. I have deleted all the contents of the remaining sheets actually. So they are all empty. So all of them have got succeeded. Now, from the interface tables, we will now bring it to the base table. Now, click on the schedule new process and go there. It's called what happens? Uh, uh, import sales orders. Here, if you write small, it will okay. Fine. Here it is okay. There it is not okay. We give it a for the UCM area, it must be very correct. So here in this place, whatever you can give it small also. Import sales orders, click on okay now, fine. I'm not going to accept it. Okay. You're not going to run it. So the source system is what? Oracle Fusion or Oscar Fusion running. The customer name, I will not give it. I will not go with the I will not take up the customer name. The ABC application software for which you are now importing it. No paste it. Nothing give it up. And then you delete the process orders. I will not make all status as actual. 
So we'll now give the customer name and then click on submit now. It is a order fusion orchestration and planning one. Find delete it, delete it, find click on submit. By which what happens there now? Running it now, find click on submit. <clears throat> so we'll now see that it will be spawning a child actually. Fine. The main program will be spawning a child. Fine. There's no running. So once one is completed, what happens? It's not, you know, child, yeah, import child process is not running. So because uh, one more thing is also end up an error. So there are two things, two, two, two sub processes are running actually. We'll now have a look at it. Now I click on it. So close the running. It is not ending up an error. First one is running an error. We'll now see if the second one is running properly or not. So one of the sales orders which I imported probably, what happened? There was giving error actually. So the second one seems to be running properly. <clears throat> so go ahead, click on it. So it has succeeded and then the running. So that was giving error. Now, this is now error actually. This is now succeeded actually. And then this is now having error because I think this is because of this error actually. Click on it. This is because of the error. We'll now have a look at the error now. Right? Click on it. We'll now keep it down. And then click on the ESS job uh, on the right? So it's now opening up. So go there. So here you can now see number of uh, threads spawned is two now. Right? With a, Child ID import status is errors, but import status is succeeded actually. Uh, it now says something. Uh, one of the uh, thing is uh, errored out actually. One of them is errored out. <clears throat> so one of them is closed. So we'll now go and then check whether it has come or not. Right click on it. Now go there. Come on. I will now what happens? Right click and then duplicate. <clears throat> I will now right click and then duplicate. And then here what happens? I will now go to the order management and then have a look at it. I'll now go there. Come on. I will now have a look at it. I go to the order management. <coughs> I will now go to the order management. I will now go to the order management. And then I will now perform an advanced. You know, fine. Click on the advanced. Fine. Advanced. And then the source order number is what? It is import. <coughs> import underscore 3001 is the one. Fine. Go ahead, click on. So click on it. It's by eight quantities. Fine. Click on search. And then I will now see if anything is coming. Fine. It is not coming. So I will now put the customer name and then search for it. Fine. The customer name. So I will now paste the customer name. Give a tab now. And then it's okay, fine. Open order. I will now make it as a null. No, fine. The remaining are null. And the customer name is given. Fine. Click on search. And then see the latest import. Fine. Click on search. You see. There are so many things which are coming up. Fine. Uh, we have to give the dates also. Fine. You know, see. So uh, today's date is what? No, how much? Fine. Click on it. So today's date is what? 17th of June, actually. <clears throat> so it's all coming on different, different dates, actually. You now see whether it comes on the so fine. Uh, order order date fine. It does not sort it now. I click on sort now. <sighs> now it is not 16, 6, 17, 6 is the one fine with that. So we have one order available now. Fine with that. So 9, 8, uh, it is a, it, it basically in US time. I think probably it is 16 only. Fine with that. I will now click on the order number and then how will it click on it? It is browsing. Fine click on it. So we will not see whether it is eight quantities or not. Fine click on it. <clears throat> it is awaiting shipping now. Fine with that. Come on it. It's not gone there. <clears throat> and then import actions and then go to switch to fulfillment view. You know, switching to fulfillment view. Now I look at it. Now I click on it. 16, 6 is the one. Fine for that one. You know, coming. So the quantity is one. It's not ours. No, fine. Because in our case, what happens? It is eight, 8 each, actually. It is 8 each. So this is not ours, actually. Fine. Click on close. <clears throat> uh, and then and give a cancel. No, fine. Click on it. So this is not our one. No. <clears throat> so right click and then duplicate. So go there. So this one, uh, this has ended in the error actually. Fine. So one of them has succeeded actually. Fine. We'll now click on this and then we'll see the success actually. Now have a look at it. Is there any other details that are available or not? So click on it. Now have a look at it. Now fine. Log will now have a look at it. Uh, in order management, imported source order 98441. Fine. So it's now saying 98441 is the order actually. So Check the runtime interviews is fine. Well, one coming on the success. So nine eight four four one is the order number. Fine. Right click and then duplicate and then have a look. Nine eight four four one is the one. <sighs> so now go there. Go to the order management and then go to the order management and then look at the advanced. Fine. Go to the advanced. And then uh, order number starts at nine eight <clears throat> nine eight four four one and go there. Click on it and then I will now make this as number and then make a search and find nine eight four four one. So it's not coming fine. There is a processing fine. The source order number is 3001. Right? Source order is also coming properly. Then, so source order number is 3001. So 3001, I'm not going to import. I should have given it fine. Click on it now and open it up and then have all of that. So go there. It's awaiting shipping. Fine. It's got eight quantities. It's coming perfectly. It's coming perfectly. So go to actions and go to switch to film module. We'll now see. I will give a comment as a, a import now. Fine. I don't know where you can see the comment actually. 
comment also will be available fine. The quantity is reserved is also coming fine. Everything is coming properly. Fine, 9841. So the source order number is 3001 is also coming. Oh, you have perfectly fine for that. Uh, uh, if it comes, the comment also comes, it will be great actually. Fine, click on the additional information. I don't see that we can see it or not. Fine, the rising and then these are all the DF or EFF actually. Fine, click on that. It's not there anywhere. Now have a look at now. Fine, click on it. Uh, you go to the general area and then have a look at it. Fine, what I want. It is an import actually. Fine, go now for oh, God, where exactly is coming? At least that uh, what happens is uh, the unit price is uh, taken up from the price list actually. It's not coming up properly. You go there. So everything is coming, but my comment, fine, as an import by Nana or something like that, everything is fine, not coming at all. I'll go to the shipping area. <clears throat> general, it, is a, it must be visible actually. Fine, general, nowhere it is visible. It's the import order. It is not visible anywhere, but eight quantities is not visible. Fine, ordered quantity is eight actually. So if you go to item details or supply details, fine, click on it, supply details, and nothing is there actually. Yes, yes. You go there. So in the header also, what happens? You go there, and then uh, we will try to view any additional columns. Like columns, and then we'll see that any additional columns can be done. Uh, item description, everything is on actually. Subscription number, selling profession, everything is on. You go there, <coughs> primary sales person, thing like that. So there may be some columns there, now, fine. A destination type, all these things are coming. I'm unable to what happens to locate that field actually. <clears throat> the common follow up. Okay. The common follow -up. I don't know which one it is actually. Okay. So try to find out and then uh, what happens. I uh, pulled up over here. <coughs> so that what happens. <laughs> You'll be able to do it proper. So it is eight quantities. Fine. Like one. Everything is coming here. Updated by clicking on the order date. Uh, okay, nothing else is there actually. So it's working actually this template is working so you can use this template and then uh, what happens you can uh, try to what happens import your sales order to. because the previous one was not working so this was given by one of my student actually long time back and so it's working perfectly so i will do one thing fine with that the sales order is imported and then everything is there actually <coughs> there is no additional information there is no point and then go to the order lines and then have a look at the title of the order lines right click on the additional information Additional information is on the EFF actually. Fine click on that. It's not coming anything at all. Mm. And then uh, you go back, fine click on done, and then come out of it. And then here we'll not see whether we can have any field here or not. Fine, go to the page, fine, go to the view, go to the columns, and then see, you know, fine, show all. So click on show all, no, fine, no, see, <laughs> there are so many fields there. We'll not go there. We'll not see Nana's import is there or not. Thank you. Go, 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 Go further, go further, go further. Fine. There is nothing there in the header also. <laughs> fine. And then if you go here now, fine, click on the second line, second tab region. Fine. There is nothing here. No. Nothing is there. All these things are coming. And then go to the third tab region. Go to the shipping. Shipping is okay. Fine. Go that. And then supply will be 001. No. Supply will be 001. So the warehouse is also not there. But it's all uh, coming from the import order and so whatever it is now already done the import. Right? They've now gone to the processing and then they've also gone to the awaiting billing also. Awaiting shipping awaiting. Even though it doesn't populate the warehouse over there, right? somewhere it's not getting populated actually. Uh, try to modify the template and then try to view it. No point on it. No one. So in this place, what happens? We go there uh, in the third tab region. Right? Okay. In the second tab region, right? Go to the second tab region. And then here. It is the one I want on it. Uh, can we see any more details on this no point on it? We are unable to see any other details actually. View any columns and ship to date, all the things are happening. So nothing is really very good actually. Okay, fine. That's it from me, and so it is working. So this template, what I'm going to do is I will now first of all transfer it frankly on it. I'll now go over there. So I have now taken it from vision import, now fine vision import. So I will know what happens. Rename it as what? Uh, rename it as what? Final no. Final, I'm renaming it. So I will now copy this template into my main template. I will now go back on the sales order import. What happens? I will not paste it. So all of you, please use this template and then populate your values now. So this template was not working properly. The remaining are all okay. The query has been executed and then we got the import details also. So the whole entire folder, I'm going to upload it 
for you and then and that will be done now fine because i have not uploaded because i have not uploaded the folder also fine because i want so let me upload the folder actually <clears throat> so that problem they can very well use it now fine drive dot google dot com right drive dot google dot com is the one i go there and then i will now upload this folder actually so into our uh fine i will now lost modified <clears throat> go there i will now open up my fusion in this one what happens you go there let me upload the folder itself so click on it folder upload let me upload the folder actually uh either sales or import the folder so sales or import the folder fine let me upload it so from there you can pick up the final one also the what happened the thing which is having a final so that you can very well wait find sales or import is now running so it has got 15 files and then it is now getting uploaded the uploading has started actually it's got 15 lines so use it and then do it no fine so uh, there may be some files which will be giving the problems yesterday that, that was giving a problem. This one is working perfectly actually. So all of you please, what happens? You import it and then uh, you put a message that what happens? Your source order number like for me is three thousand one. So it was not showing me the source order number three thousand one also. Right? So it has imported successfully. So likewise, once when you have completed the import, what happens? Uh, please post a message inside inside. Right? So that will be getting it. Good then fine. Bye for now and then we'll now see and then. Inform.